How's it wagging, guys? Uh, uh, th welcome to the first of my uh, How to Arts series. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get started in the GIMP. It's free and it should work on any computer, so there's no reason for you to not to not get it. But uh, I use the GIMP, uh, and when I'm animating, I use the GIMP and Blender, uh, and that'll probably show up later. Today I'm just going to show you how to get uh, get set up, start a new file. First, you're gonna open your program, and you're gonna click on New. And one second, I got two screens, so and it's popping up here. I want to change the width and height here to. 6,000 by 6,000 and what that's going to do is it's going to give me a large canvas for a lot of detail and when I'm ready when I'm finished with the picture I'll shrink it back down to 15 by 15 you'll see that later and you get the usual message unless you turn it off Alright, now before we start drawing, we're going to need to make layers. That's this page button right here. We're going to name this layer, let's say, Rough Sketch. Rough Sketch. And we're going to need a find sketch color ink and I'm I'm thinking I don't think I should add a sh I'll, I'll probably do simple shadows and light put anything extra here on this layer okay now in the background now we're not going to do a background for this one you need to keep it simple and the extras there just just in case let's see so you got rough sketch refined sketch color ink, shadow, and light, and we're going to start on the rough sketch. That's where it all starts. I'm going to use the pencil. And you want to start it with a, like a light gray. So it... Yeah. I'm going to set my brush size to 10 here. I'm using a Wacom Cintiq, by the way, and you'll probably have to like fidget around with your controls to, you know, to get it uh, pretty much up there. But uh, or to edit anyway. I'm still awkward at making videos, but in, but yeah. Uh, brush size to 10 and we're going to first start by framing out let's see part of the first step is actually visualizing what you're going to draw or going by the description don't know let's maybe start with something simple say a teddy bear Yeah, I know, it's kind of lame. But it's G-rated and there's no copyright in it. And here's pretty much... This is pretty much the... Uh, 
the bulk of it right here. We have a leg coming out this way. Coming out this way. So I'm used to drawing really, really complex stuff. This is just something really, really simple. Just for the video's example, I'll probably make more. Yeah, I'll probably make more. Complex pictures. In the future videos. But for now, I'm just keeping it simple. sketch what that does it gives you a, a lot of leeway that's why I'm not really being all that meticulous and give him a little pot belly Gonna start out with uh, like like I just did with shapes and lines like a skeleton like side view of a human would probably be like this here's where the spine comes out here's the neck hitting the shoulders right here hitting the hitting the where the chest pokes out and then right there I'm gonna curve that down because that's the tail of the spine and right here is like the first leg joint there It's a really long neck, but you get the point. Get out of here. Okay, should I have button eyes? Or just two just shiny black ones? I'll give them the shiny black ones. And a lot of people tell me that, uh, I hear a lot of people tell me they can't draw and whatnot, and I just keep, I, I just keep telling them to just start drawing and just keep doing it until you get better. And I'm I'm not even a master. And we're starting to look like a teddy bear. I'm 
I'm not wanting this to be too simple. There, I'll, I'll show you how to do color and all that. Probably should add something else to the picture. Maybe floorboards and a toy box, maybe? Yeah, the floorboards of a kid's room. Just draw right through them. Let's see. And I'm using the stylus. You can program your stylus and tablet buttons any way you want. And I'm just using the stylus to button to move. On mine, it's the back button. On the, on the stylus. Let's see here. No, that's. And the reason I like digital artwork is because there's a back button. Three, okay, yeah. That's probably not good. Let's see. Trying to get toys in there. I'll probably end up having to do this. Let's see here. There. No, dang it. There's where my tablet messed up. I didn't. It's really hard to get the get a tablet to work on Windows for some reason. At least for me, it is. The Wacom Cintiq. I think that's good. I don't know. Should we add a color pattern here? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Let's add. Let's add some different colors here. Zoom in here real quick. I don't know. No. Let's see. Okay, the stomach. If you get a Wacom Cintiq tablet or any tablet and it's not working right call tech support <laughs> this is well I'm used to it by now but it's really annoying you'll be let's see Trying to get the stomach to be tan too, or to be a different color. I was thinking tan and brown. Yeah, since he's to the side, three fourths view. 
Yeah, that should work. Yeah, and we have the start of a picture now. A simple one. And from here, you can uh, edit it in any way because it's still the rough. Uh, and the next video will be the refined sketch sequence, or not sequence, I'm thinking animation, but it'll be the refined sketch. And uh, again, if, 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 if anyone has any questions, uh, be sure to put a comment down below uh, so I can answer it in uh, a video. Uh, again, this is just a simple uh, tutorial. That leg does look a bit long. So we'll just <sighs> Excuse me. So yeah. You'll have to bear with me on the tablet situation. Alright, so, th so this is the start, and again, it's a very simple example this time, uh, and there will be more complex pictures coming up, uh, but I just wanted to get started with simple stuff so y'all could probably follow along. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment on what you would want to see, or if you have any questions. Uh, and, and the likes, and the subs, and the views, and, and the comments, they go a long way for me. And the comments will let me know how well I'm doing, and um, gives me tips, ideas for... Uh, for what you guys want to see yeah so I will see you in the next video and uh, deuces